Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at bringing the survival series from Unity 4 to Unity 5. Now, this is not going to be a, a look at changing the script or the script for um, the character motor not existing on the Unity 5 controller. What we're going to do is we're going to look at two ways of, say you've been working in Unity 4 and you want to bring this up to Unity 5. Um, we're going to look at upgrading your project and helping you upgrade any sort of project and giving you sort of details on doing that. Um, and also, if you want to follow the survival series, you can al actually upload the Unity 4 character controller pack for you, you to easily import into Unity 5 so you can carry on following the tutorials exactly as I've done them. Because I haven't had an awful lot of time to look into what's changed in the character controller in Unity 5 and editing all my scripts. So, what we're going to do is, once you open Unity 5 for the first time, you're going to want to open Other. So what we're going to do from Open Other, I've got a folder called Unity 5, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my um, Survival Island game, that is going to be my Unity 4 specific package. Now I'm going to then select that file, and it's going to ask me to upgrade. This is a backup of my version in Unity 4, so always make sure that you've got a backup first. Just make a new folder and copy and paste a new version in. So if you upgrade it and it messes it up, we won't have any problems. And then what you want to do is just update that and run through. Uh, let Unity just do what it needs to do. And in this, we're going to look at changing the skybox because sometimes it causes an issue looking at the differences in the render settings um, setting the lighting path from if it was forward or deferred rendering um, using how it renders it on the graphics card so Unity 4 used to be DirectX 9 we're going to be looking at DirectX 11 and you can say that I made a backup so go ahead and just compile everything for me and then I'll be back once we've finished this compilation Okay, so now uh, we've opened this up in Unity 5 and it looks, let's say, somewhat similar to how it functioned before. Now there's going to be some things that have messed up and it might look a, bit, a little bit crazy. So if I play the game now, you'll notice that we don't particularly have any errors, but we're going to have some sort of visual bugs going on that we need to sort of address um, through this video. So, people had been mentioning that um, the there's some errors with the character controller and the scripts that are with that but now if you use the unity 4 character controller you won't actually get any problems so as a workaround for everybody is that I will provide the the actual character controller pack and you will have it in your standard assets and these one these um, ones like in unity 4 now we're going to sort out these little issues that we've got so far so what you want to do first off is go to um, you want to go to the light mapping or the lighting tab so you can go window and lighting mine's called light mapping because it's coming from a unity 4 now what we're going to do is we want to add a different skybox now I might make another tutorial on how to add a custom skybox in unity 5 but if I search skybox and I'm going to put the default skybox in and it will clear a lot of the massive issues that we had first off really then what we can do is we can add directional light as the sun we can add the ambient source as the skybox and we'll get some more shadows you can leave or take away the ambient intensity maybe just leave it up for this you can probably take the reflection bounces down um, we can add pre-computed GUI I'll probably dis disregard the baked GUI for now. Set the resolution to 1. Make sure that directional is for the general GI. You can leave the fog disabled or enabled, but this fog works slightly differently in Unity 5 than it did in Unity 4. So we might want to switch that off for now. And then the main things that we were concerned about, we want to make sure that if we go back to the inspector tab, we want to make sure that our directional light is real time. And we can leave the intensity and such by itself. We make sure that the terrain static if it wasn't already. Now what we might want to do is go into edit, project settings and then player. 
we might want to change our rendering path here to forward or deferred rendering make sure that it isn't on legacy so maybe if we change it to deferred or you can leave it as forward but probably leave it as forward for this now it says at the top it's using direct direct x9 you can use direct 3d11 so if you apply that and say well yeah we'll save the scene out it'll then be using direct x11 if you've got a graphics card that supports that because that's a newer version to support any um, graphics now we can also go to edit project settings and quality now I had this on fastest before so we had no shadows so if you've got a problem there you can turn it to fantastic and you'll get the shadows again now it strangely flipped that upside down and that's probably because I've got a camera effect so if you've gone the first person controller now to your main camera I might want to get rid of the sun shafts on the fast bloom what we could do is we could leave the sun shafts or take those away fast bloom makes it switch upside down I'm not really sure why that's doing that but that's okay for now but if we want to have a look at playing the game um, it'll sort out a f a quite a few issues that we previously had and it looks it looks fairly nice and also you might want to use continuous baking make sure that on your lighting tab continuous baking is enabled um, some of these objects we don't we make sure that we don't want to be static because they're going to move now I've got a little issue with some of my palm trees now that might have been sorted in the uh, if the person who's made the tropical nature pack updates it for unity 5 but you may need to bring those in again if you're having problems with some of the issues with the um, things themselves now now with continuous baking on it's brightened everything up slightly and now we get some nice uh, not so dark shadows in the areas so we can probably decrease the indirect intensity if we need to but on our directional light we might want to make sure the intensity isn't quite as high because it's 1.76 if I take that back down to 1 that might be more beneficial to us all now you can enable fog again but you might want to experiment with what actually works because maybe I'm using the fog incorrectly and if anybody knows how to use it properly I might look into it more detail but um, it seems to be doing it in a different way to how I'd normally expect because I'd want the fog to be back here rather than very close to you know our player so if we adjust the start and end values we can get if we just the end value we get the fog back there I can't seem to make it affect anything down there maybe it's an issue with me but something might you might want to test for yourself but if we leave that off for now and we test the game um, we'll get everything you know from how we wanted it in unity 5 so from unity 4 to 5 yes we are missing some trees and things like that you might want to tweak some terrain settings if you need to so if you go on your terrain and the terrain is using uh, the built-in legacy material now what you might want to do is you make it use the built-in standard so if you adjust that you can um, add your own material into the settings so you can add your own material to use the standard shader for any uh, materials that you might be using so if we've painted on the sand we can edit the textures accordingly and it'll be using the standard shader so the physically based stuff will actually work more efficiently so really that's the base of going from unity 4 to 5 especially with the survival series we just had to tweak a lot of different things we had to make sure that the lighting was all functioning correctly we had to make sure we had a new skybox, saw out any graphical issues we had, made sure that the um, real-time global illumination was enabled. We had the settings up high enough using a different version of DirectX and just tweaking some settings. Now, of course, like I said, if you've got any problems with using the character controller from Unity 5, use the Unity 4 one for this series 
uh, and then when I get chance to editing my script, I'll make sure that I get round to you know tweaking it for Unity 5. But again, if you've got any tree packs, you might want to see if the developers updated it so it works with Unity 5 better, or maybe re-import everything um, and apply it to your terrain again. I know that's not the best way to go, but when you're moving from one build of an engine from Unity 4 to 5, you're going to get some issues, and not, not all of them can be sorted. So, all in all, it looks you know somewhat to back where we were. So, hopefully we'll get back into the series, but I'll continue development in Unity 4, but hopefully this helps some people out um, with the development in Unity 5. So, thanks again for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.